This week's quick take is about white balance. What is white balance and how does it affect your footage? First, let's talk about Kelvin or color temperature. At the extreme ends, you have 2000 Kelvin on the warm side and 9000 Kelvin on the cool side. Then you have different settings in between those that are built into the camera to make things easy on you, like 3200 Kelvin for tungsten, 4400 Kelvin for fluorescent, 5500 Kelvin for daylight, 6000 Kelvin for cloudy conditions, and 7000 Kelvin for shade. It does depend on your scene for which one you will use. Here's a side-by-side -side of the different standard white balance settings in my camera on the same scene. This should be shot at 5500 Kelvin for daylight. If you switch between these on the run for different scenes, your footage will look a lot better out of camera and will require less work in post. I set a custom button on all of my cameras to access the white balance menu quickly for this reason. You can also use the custom white balance tool and this is where cameras differ on their internal settings. The custom areas be used with a gray or white card to get just about perfect white balance. There are a lot of tools you can use to make your life easier, like these right here. But you can use clothes, walls, cars, shoes, anything that's white or gray to get a base white balance, then you may have to tweak it from there in post. When you are setting white balance for a scene that you are lighting, make sure to turn off any practical lights or tungsten lights in the scene and only white balance off your key light to get proper white balance. If you have those on when you're setting a custom white balance, you may get light mix and your footage will look off. Auto white balance is never to be trusted. And I am joking about that, but at the same time, I'm not. It definitely has its place, but you can get some funky things going on when using auto white balance. If lighting changes in the scene while you're filming, it'll change the white balance and you will notice that. Also, let's say you're shooting a shot with a lot of green in it. Well, the auto white balance will pick up a lot of that green, add that into the baked in look and your skin tones will then look a little off. It just depends on where you're at and what you're shooting for auto white balance. But I would definitely get comfortable switching my white balance around a lot. And that's your Thursday quick take. Hope you got something from this and look forward to the next one. Thanks for watching. Cheers.